more to come. Anyway, today we are going to draw Lion of Steven Universe, one of my favorite characters. Uh, so let's get to it. Alright, so we are going to start as often with a simple circle. Uh, it's going to be a big circle for the chest. It's going to be our chest circle, as I call it. A very big one. Yes, yes. That's very good. Alright, and we make a line that is connecting with another circle that I call the butt circle. Yes, it's going to be about two thirds of the size of the chest circle. So, about this size is fine. Alright. And we're connecting this too. Alright, and now for the hint legs. First, we're going to kind of half this, this circle and make an ellipse. Alright, big ellipse, and again we're drawing about half of it, uh, and make this rectangle shape which is going over this ellipse here, uh, and straight down. It's big enough, and it's a little bit shorter than the size of the butt circle. Um, Okay, and the same for the other side too. Like about here, and make a rectangle. Right. Very nice. Ooh, these are his legs. Mm -hmm. And for the front legs, at first we are going to make two circles again, which are a little bit ellipse shaped. Make it like this. And these are going to indicate the shoulders. Mm -hmm. And here too. Alright. And again, we're making rectangles. But you don't go straight down from here, but a little bit to the side. So we have space to kind of indicate the shoulder still. And straight down again. Alright. And here we go straight down. Make the legs big enough. Yes, kind of. Kind of. Uh, fat legs, actually. A little bit chubby. Maybe you should do some diet. Maybe. Maybe some episode will be about how Lion is going on a diet. This would be fun to watch. Kinda, maybe. <laughs> oh, stupid idea, I know. Alright, so there we have the legs, and let's make the tail, for this tail, hmm, make it a little bit more upwards, okay, and make it kind of flame shaped, a little flame, there we go, and the tail is coming from here, it's coming from here actually, but you don't see it, and connecting with the circle, alright. And now to the toes, make this kind of triangle shape. Uh, and I like to point the toes of the front legs a bit to the opposite side of each other. It kind of looks cute in my opinion. But you can draw them both to the front too. Which is actually an, an I don't know. Which may be more accurate. But what do I know? Okay, and now the head. It's a circle a little bit smaller than the shoulder circles. About this size, maybe. Yes. And we make again an ellipse, which is going to be the mouth. Not too long, but also not too short. This size is about okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And 
these two lines for the middle and the eye position. Let's also get right to the eyes. They are very round and big at the top and at the bottom very flat. On the other side too. Oh no, the next attack here. Hmm? What are you doing? Not on the table. Okay. Ugh. Okay, so here we are at the eyes. So big and round. There. Flat and I think is this okay? Oh, no, it's not okay. It's a bit, a little bit more to the left, actually. Okay, and we make the pupils. One, two, two. Hmm. The nose is like a big heart shaped flat pancake. Very cute nose. Mm -hmm. And these two little lines for the mouth. And at the side we have some some fur. And for the mane. We are going to draw some circles, which will help us. Uh, so let's do it. The circles are surrounding the head. Kind of like this. And here and here to the right side too. And there also. And there we have this fur. It's going from down here, from the middle here, all the way up to this half circle. And there we have another line. Okay, and we make this kind of drop shape. And the swoosh, this hair swooshy, as I call them, is pointing up and like this. Mm -hmm. oh. I have to stop my cat again. Wait. Ugh. So what she did is she climbed into a cardboard box, which is normally totally fine, but these cats are kind of strange. Whenever they get into a cardboard box, they pee into it all the freaking time and I cannot let them inside it's not possible and so I stopped her right there because I forgot to get this cardboard box away oh well back to the drawing um, so yeah one squishy is left we are drawing from here or pulling this line down and then Points a little bit upwards. Yes, swish. And the other line is starting from here, from the shoulder, and going up like this in a very curved way. Mm -hmm. All right. Looks very majestic already. Mm -hmm. Am I happy with that? Okay, so I think we can go over to the actual line work. Oh no, I forgot the, the ears, of course, which are going to be just these circles which are going to be a little bit box shaped, a bit square shaped, and the hair again. Don't forget the hair. Alright, and now we can go over to the line work. And for this, Again, I'm going to lower the opacity. Go straight to the line. All right. <clears throat> so, Steven Universe is, as I said, one of my favorite cartoon series. It's a American cartoon series on Cartoon Network. 
and it's about this kind of a little bit naive boy, a little bit chubby, but totally kind-hearted and brave. Um, he is very creative in, in some way and just awesome. <laughs> just awesome. Very, 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 sometimes smart and playful. Yeah. What are you doing again? Come on. She's crazy now. Oh god. Bad timing. Uh, um, yeah. And he lives together with the Crystal Gems, uh, who are three magical beings in female form, in female human form, who have special powers and protect the world. And Steven is half one of them, and he's half human. And he's still figuring out his, his abilities, which he got from his mom. And it's very sweet. The creator and producer of the show is the lovely Rebecca Sugar. <laughs> very sweet. And Steven is actually based on her younger brother, Steven Sugar. I think he's younger than her, I don't know. I don't remember that clearly anymore. Um, and the Crystal Gems are different versions of her, as she said. Uh, every one of them is a different version of her, and especially Pearl, so yeah. Um, and. What the? What is it? <sighs> Don't show everybody your butt. Your stupid butt. Meow, meow, meow. Meow. Oh, wow. Meow. <sighs> oh, sorry. <clears throat> Cat distracted me again. So where were I? Yeah, and she was... Uh, she's actually the first woman who independently produced a cartoon series on Cartoon Network. Which is awesome. Uh, it's really great. And I hope that there will be more of them. Uh, and she did just an awesome job. Um, a lot of the series is very video game based and anime and and uh, other cartoon series uh, based and has a lot of reference of them and and she did that because she also loves these kind of things and she wanted to put everything that she loves into this into this cartoon it became this special gem um, and not only did she just uh, create and produced the series, but also she did some of the composing, the music composing. Like for example, the the intro is from her, which goes like this: We are the crystal gems. We'll always save the day. And if you think we can't, we'll always find a way. That's what the people of this world believe in. Garnet and Mephist and Paul and Steven! Woo! Yay! Uh, I cannot resist. <laughs> Every time when the and Steven comes up, I have to. I have to sing along. <laughs> so energetic. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, all the characters are really great in this in this cartoon series, and I especially love Lion. Uh, I mean, he's a lion first of all, a big cat. Uh, me as a cat freak, of course. Uh, but there's more to that. I mean, he is a magical, magical pink lion. He can run on water. You can ride on him. He roars portals. He's super strong and quick, and has a very special big secret 
uh, inside of him, but I'm not going to spoil it that. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, he, he's just awesome. But sometimes I was a really cat-like, like totally sweet and he wants to cuddle and play and he's lazy and sleeps all the time. Uh, and sometimes, some scenes it, uh, in the series he scratches on the door when he wants to get inside, you know that. or he traps his nose inside of a paper bag and he does this awkward walk backwards to get out of it, you know, and gets trapped on a wall on the door. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very cat-like and I love it. I love it so much. Yeah, um, <clears throat> he is simply awesome. And the whole cartoon series is so Filled with magic and awesome, awesome stuff and sparkles and really emotional. Uh, there were lots of times when I laughed, lots of times when I was really stunned. It was so cool and amazing and beautiful. Uh, sometimes I even cried because it was just so well, so well made. The characters are really awesome and you can really connect with them. You can really relate to them. Yeah, I love it. Rebecca, you really did a great job there. And I hope there will be more of those. And yeah. Uh, the series is really has a special place for me because it really made me feel like a child again. I was uh, especially Stephen's fascination of about everything and how energetic uh, he is. It's really contagious. Uh, I really love it. Uh, okay, so just one thing. Uh, we are done with the land work. It seems to be fine. And I think we'll go over to the colors. Colors. Mm -hmm. So they are going to be just simply four colors. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Everything's closed. And this light pink for the long hair. With the short hair, this kind of saturated pink. Alright. And for the nose, this darker one. And between that, we have the color for the hair. Be careful, if you are using traditional media, be sure to color them right from the start. You cannot do that, what I'm doing now. Just drawing black lines and then painting the pink over it and recolor these lines. So yeah. yeah. As I said, the series is really great for making you feel like a child again. And in my opinion it's really important that you do. You sometimes just have to know what it feels like to have just fun with your, with your friends and being stupid without being ashamed. That's important. You are just yourself and there is nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, yeah, so we're pretty much there. This is Lion, one of my favorite characters. Um, and if you maybe saw it, yeah, he is also part of my intro. Uh, maybe now you understand the reason for it. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, if you have any feedback, questions or <laughs> Sorry, any questions or feedback or requests, then please let me know in the comments. Have fun drawing!